acclaimed as the first acid western, I am now discussing Monty Hellman's The Shooting, starring Warren Oates, Will Hutchins, Millie Perkins, and Jack Nicholson, and produced by Hellman and Nicholson. The Shooting is possibly the triumph of Hellman's filmography, or at least a candidate for that claim. Oates and Hutchins are hired by the mysterious standoffish Perkins for very ambiguous reasons. A film which functions like an unusual dream, predominantly realised via framing its players against the landscapes, Hellman again emerges as a champion of filmic storytelling, composing mood and tension, communicating the psychological distress of his characters visually, rather than via rhetorical waffling or elaborate dialogue. The shooting apparently had a rather troubled production. Hellman would go on to remark that Nicholson being signed on as a co-producer was an enormous mistake due to Nicholson's apparent frugality, and it is claimed that both Hellman and Nicholson got into conflicts with Warren Oates on set. Allegedly, Oates demanded his dialogue be delivered in a particular whispered manner for at least one scene, and so Hellman shot an alternative for his sake, with no intention of using it in the finished film. Gregory Sandor's cinematography is phenomenal. He did a good job on Ride in the Whirlwind also, but here, in the shooting, Utah is transformed into a non-specific plane of existence. The West is a composite universe wherein mythical historical tropes gather together, riding in a cycle of archetypal experience moulded by cultural memories and existential metaphor. This film has been noted as having a rather intense and potentially very confusing closing sequence. Rather than being a strange symbolic metaphor, Hellman had cut out the first ten or so pages of the film's initial screenplay, penned by Carol Eastman. And so what? Leave now to avoid a big spoiler. Do leave now, don't get upset, so just leave now. And so what looks like Warren Oates confronted with himself is actually meant to be his apparently twin brother. It isn't overwhelmingly established that Oates' character has a brother, or at least it is possible to forget though it was intended as a more pronounced element of the screenplay, at least I presume. For anyone interested in a trippy, weird western, the shooting will be a blessing for you. It takes place on a bizarre plane, not a western taking place in American history, but a dimension inspired or extrapolated from American history. The shooting may as well take place in a fictional universe known as the West, where the rules and expectations of this narrative genre are the cosmic order. As though they are batteries in a matrix simulation, the characters drift through experience as functional entities in an allegorical imagining. 1966's The Shooting appears to want to acknowledge this via both its writing and its directorial execution. The Shooting is an extremely vivid and memorable film experience, and one of the most fascinating American westerns of all time, I'd go so far as to say. Be prepared for the unusual, the weird, although if one likes the strange, they may find themselves at home with this film. Thanks all, have an outstanding day.